In this brief video, I want to look at oil as a commodity, give you an overview of that, and also some trading strategies we can use for gold and oil as well is, is the precursor uh, uh, is this video for that. So uh, uh, as we mentioned earlier, cr trading commodities is a lot of things, everything from currencies to gold and so on. But I want to look at this one over here. I want to look at oil as the key one that we want to focus on for this one. And as I mentioned earlier, you've seen gold prices can move very volatile uh, up and down. Uh, 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 but what about gold? Uh, sorry, what about oil? What about oil? Similar kind of thing. Uh, and that's the reason why it's called black gold. Uh, you see here, crude oil prices, again, I've taken a very long time frame uh, with this. And lots of factors will tend to affect the price of oil as well. A lot of fundamentals, everything from uh, a lack of uh, supply because of war or a lack of demand because of financial crisis. So, Prices move, of course, on supply and demand. The more demand there is, the prices go up. The less supply is, the prices go up, and so on. So that's the macroeconomic side. But like gold, oil also moves based upon, and we can find strategies based upon, charts and technicals. And that's my favorite way, because I don't want to try and predict the next conflict and so on. I'd rather be looking at price charts. And what we see here, for instance, again, I've taken a very long time frame, is that although it's often moved up 30% per year, and that's what shows those um, blue dots show a, a growth of 30%, if it was just going in a straight line 30% per year, despite it averaging 30% per year since 2002, so if you just bought and hold it, you'd be getting a 30% per annum return, it often, in between there, dips minus 31%, minus 28%, drops 19% from its peak to its low point, 25%, 15%, 10%, and so on. It often has quite st steep falls in prices along the way. And that's why a lot of people don't just buy and hold it, because if something drops 28% or 31%, they panic that they're not going to get the long-term growth. Arguably, if you just bought and hold uh, oil, you should probably continue getting 30% per annum, I suspect. But most people want to trade it in the short term. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about trading. We're talking about buying and selling. So we want to buy and sell across different time frames. And that begs the question, well, what are the strategies for doing that, how do we know when to buy and sell if we're not going to just predict macroeconomic factors? What's the software we use? What do I use? Uh, and that's what I talk about in future videos. But in the next one, what I'm going to talk about is some of the trading strategies for oil, which also apply to other commodities like gold. But I'm going to focus on oil and gold. In this, I just want to give a very brief overview that oil, like other commodities, like foreign exchange as well, is moves based upon macroeconomic factors, but also tends to move in quite sharp waves. And therefore, we, if our chosen method is not to try and be macroeconomic experts, it's probably to look at price charts. If we're looking at price charts to get buy and sell signals, what are the trading strategies for knowing when to buy and to sell oil? And why do we want to trade oil? Well, I want to trade it because it's easy to trade, a bit like gold. Lots of data and information out there for free and it's cheap to trade because you brokers don't charge commission because we're going to be using futures contracts these are all the factors that come into it if that's the case so it's an attractive thing to trade and it also gives us diversification from just owning say stocks then we want to know how to get those buy and sell signals that's what i do in the next video i talk about some of the strategies which give us buy and sell signals for oil as well as for gold